Hey guys, so I'm back a uh, month later with another topic. And, um, or two topics rather. So, something that's kind of been confusing me um, is why femmes, lesbian femmes, have such a ridiculous amount of animosity towards aggressives, AGs, and studs dating straight women. <clears throat> a uh, lesbian femme that I, that I know once told me that, you know, she thought it was really foul for AGs and studs to date straight women and that that's how diseases get spread and, you know, we, catch, we would catch stuff from straight girls who sleep with men and then bring it back to lesbian femmes. Okay, so um, I personally have dated quote-unquote straight women before, and I don't think that that makes them any less straight. I think that maybe they were curious, or perhaps they still like men, but I just happen to be, you know, the one female that they did like. Um, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Sexuality's fluid, and, um, you know, people are people. They're humans. Our emotions change, our desires, attractions... Um, you know, it's not fair to say that someone should stay in a box, you know, a label. Um, anyways, so, um, I can understand, um, you know, people, of course, wanting to remain healthy, um, in their sexual relations, but it has nothing to do with sexual orientation, in my opinion, um, I feel like it's it's kind of ignorant and a little stupid, really. I don't want to use this word too much, but kind of stupid for somebody to say that um, by a stud or AG dating a heterosexual woman that they're going to bring a disease back into the lesbian community because that girl sleeps with a man. I mean, you can catch something within the lesbian community. I mean, it doesn't necessarily mean that it came from dealing with a bisexual or a straight uh, man or woman. I, I think that that's, you know, I don't know. I guess the best way for me to say it is that you can catch shit from anybody, any gender, any race, any sexual orientation, okay? You can be a lesbian dating a lesbian. She can give you something and you can give it to somebody else. It has nothing to do with that. So I, that's ignorant. That's the one thing I want to say. But that aside, um... I don't know, I, I really have had a hard time understanding why femmes have such a huge problem with, you know, AGs dealing with straight women, because when you think about how a lot of lesbians got started in this lifestyle, you know, a lot of people, like myself, for example, I said that I was straight because I didn't want anybody to know that I liked women, and, um, you know, so obviously I was, um, considered a bi-curious person, and, um, you know... I was going by straight, so obviously the first lesbian that I dealt with, she was dealing with somebody who considered themselves heterosexual, essentially, though I had not been intimate with any men, you know, so nobody could say, oh, you know, you're going to give me something from your boyfriend, because th that wasn't me, I didn't do things like that, um, go from, you know, guy to girl, not tell him, whatever, that wasn't me, but I think that most lesbians and gay men you know, um, who are by curious, they get their start that way. You identify as straight and then you tend to deal with somebody more experienced and, you know, whatever. Um, but as much as I hear these days, as much as I hear about how wrong and how dirty we masculine lesbians are for dating or having dated or slept with heterosexual women, I'd like to address the fact that there are a lot of so-called lesbians who date and are intimate with trans men and trans women, okay? I know that there are a lot of AGs, studs, butches out there who date male-to-female trannies. Um, I don't ask why, I don't care why, that's their business, right? And then you have a lot of what I see is more common, common in my community and just in my area of, you know, New York and in places in Atlanta, like major cities like that, where the big, you know, gay community is really big and everything like that, um, see a lot of femmes dating trans men, you know, that would be females who transition to becoming men. And that seems like, you know, it's 
all the all the rave now and um you know it's it's pretty normal it's common people people do it a lot of femmes are attracted to you know trans men and I'm not knocking you for it but that's something that I personally don't understand how you can call yourself a lesbian but you're attracted to a man now I feel like if you're looking at the trans man as oh that used to be a woman I mean I feel like in a way you're kind of disrespecting who they are currently presently by living in the past of who they used to be because they're not who they used to be so if you're a lesbian you know a, a woman who is attracted to women whether it be a biological woman or a trans woman or whatever, but you're dating somebody who has turned into a man or has taken the steps to be become a full man, then, I mean, how does that make you a lesbian? And even though that boggles my mind, it really does, I still don't judge and I don't care, you know? I mean, I, I'm not them. I don't live their lives. It's not my vagina. You know, they do what they want. But my thing is, how can you be so much of a hypocrite to judge ags and studs for dating fucking loving heterosexual or bisexual women when there are femmes who are you know intimate with trans men you know and i don't see that there's any difference i don't see a difference at all you know um obviously femmes dating trans men and studs dating trans women are outside of the old-fashioned um traditional gay you know dating relationship scene or whatever like you know it's not the gay norm because we obviously have gay norms and stereotypes roles and things like that and obviously um masculine lesbians dating heterosexual women is apparently out the norm too it seems but more and more, as time goes on, I tend to hear femmes bashing, um, you know, AGs and studs or whoever that have dated straight women, you know, and I, I don't like it. Um, I feel like at the end of the day, everybody should be able to date whoever they want to date and sleep with whoever they want to sleep with, not have to explain, you know, why and who, when, how. It's their business. But... What I don't like are hypocrites. So, you know, if you are a woman who identifies as a lesbian and you date trans men or trans women and you feel like that is normal and acceptable and natural for you, then why is it that for an AG or a stud to date a heterosexual woman, it's so bizarre? I mean, I, I just feel like if you want people to accept that lifestyle, you know, or accept the fact that you're a lesbian that loves trans men or that you're attracted to trans men, I feel like you should give that same respect to the masculine lesbians or, you know, um, masculine queers or whatever who are attracted to heterosexual women. You know, I, I feel like it's almost like lesbian femmes feel like we masculine lesbians are tapping out on the community like we're tapping out on our lesbian femmes and we're being traitors for straight women but the same can be said for femmes who go and they date um ags and then they start dating female to males you know i know not saying that i personally feel this way because i don't i could care less but i know that there are a lot of ags and studs out here who think that it doesn't make sense that you know um a lesbian date studs all her life or whatever and then she starts dealing with female to males and oh she should probably just date a man blah 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 you know what I mean so I think there's a lot of confusion a lot of a lot of um ignorance on both sides and just people being really judgmental but all I'm saying is that you know before you point a finger to one group of people about how weird or how bizarre their lifestyle is you should take a look at yours as well you know so, um, that's all I really wanted to say. Um, and furthermore, my personal opinion is that I don't see anything wrong with, um, lesbian studs dating heterosexual women. I don't. It's still a woman. You know, you like women, regardless of their sexual orientation, a woman is a woman. I've dated heterosexual women. I don't feel like there was anything wrong with that. I definitely 
didn't give up on the lesbian community, lesbian femmes. I wasn't a traitor of the gay community of some sort. I just like women. I'm a woman that likes women, period. And for the femmes who, um, you know, date female to males, for whatever your reason is, I don't know. I don't understand. And I welcome anybody to create a video response to explain to me um, why they are attracted to female to males or why they consider themselves lesbian still because I don't get it. Um, and again, not judging or bashing, but I'm curious. But at the end of the day, everybody is free to love and fuck whoever they want. So, um, you know, do you. But, yeah, I just get tired of hearing um, people bash us for, you know, being attracted to or having dated heterosexual women, you know? So, um, I mean, the definition of a lesbian never said a lesbian who only likes, uh, that a lesbian is a woman who only likes women who identify as lesbians, you know? Um, a lesbian can obviously, well, obviously is a woman that likes women. You can like bisexual, gay, straight women, you know, queer women, women without labels, free spirits, whatever. She has a vagina, she's a woman. So, um, that's all I have to say. That's it. So anyways, I welcome somebody to give me a video response or post a comment, um, letting me know how they feel about this topic, about studs dating straight women and also um, femmes dating female to male individuals and also studs dating male, I mean, I mean yeah, male to female um, individuals, trans women. So um, anybody who would like to share their opinion or their feelings, definitely let me know. Bye.